right, let's get the show on the road. Hey everybody, it's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com. Thank you so much for joining me again. Today is Thursday, which means it is vlog day. I have a whole mess of stuff to talk about. I got some uh, mods, some disposables to talk about, uh, some mods to talk about, some legal stuff to talk about, some shout outs to give, some beer to drink, and some metal to listen to, uh, which is kind of car par for the course for the vlog. So for those not in the know, uh, this is the vlog. Um, this ends up being a, a quite long video, usually between 45 minutes to an hour, although there are a few that have gone uh, over an hour, but not by much, usually like 15 minutes or so. It's designed to be a long program. We cover a lot of information. I like to talk about beer. I like to talk about music. I'm always open to music recommendations. Um, Amber will sometimes stop by, and we call that the Jam Attack segment. Um, but I like to do shout outs. I like to do some first impressions of vape gear. I like to do some reviews of vape gear. I like to do some viewer mail. I like to give out helpful links resources, stuff like that. So this is if this is your first time watching the vlog, tuck in because it's going to be a long video. These vlogs are designed to be long. So if you come come to this web zone and you see this vlog video and you see that it's 55 minutes long and then you click on it and start playing it and then 9 minutes in, you make a comment and complain that it's too long. I'm not going to feel sorry for you uh, because you saw how long it is. You can see how long YouTube videos are before you click on them. So if you run across a really long video, like an hour and 30 minutes long, like from somebody else, and then you start watching it, and then you go, this video is too long. You knew how long it was going to be. I mean, that's that's a ridiculous complaint to make. Um, I, made, I, uh, I made this uh, reference earlier this week. I don't remember in what context it was, but I, I equated it to watching a full season of Sons of Anarchy and then starting the second season of Sons of Anarchy and going, Pff, this is still about motorcycles. You know, it's, you know what it's about, just like you know how long this is going to be. This program that I call the vlog is also available on SoundCloud, um, so you can listen to it, you can download it for your listening, uh, viewing whatever pleasure however you want to listen to it or view it uh, is is absolutely fine by me but welcome welcome to the vlog hello and welcome welcome and hello um, my arm is still sore I did get tattooed if you want to see uh, so so cool that's uh that's Captain Hook right there holy crap that looked awesome Mark Moots uh, Mark Moots is just a really good friend really good guy knocked it out of the park with this uh, Captain Hook. It's still healing. Uh, it's a little dry, so I'm going to have to probably uh, get some lotion on this as soon as possible. I do, I got my neck blasted. Two weeks later, uh, I got Captain Hook, and I believe in two weeks on June 14th, maybe that's three weeks away, um, I do have an appointment to get my chest done as well. Pardon me. I believe it's going to be Star Wars related, um, but before before we before we get there, um, I just want to make sure. I want to ask Ryan, Ryan Serda or Serda. Ryan, I want to make sure it's okay with you that I get Star Wars tattooed uh, on my chest because evidently uh, you're very critical <laughs> of my tattoos. Uh, for some reason, you think it's creepy that I got a Disney villain tattooed on me, um, even though I think it's the most fucking rocking badass tattoo that I've ever seen. I just wanna make sure that my next tattoo uh, is up to your approval. <laughs> Moving forward, wow, where did that come from? I'm gonna do some shout outs after I have a uh, delicious sip of my Golden Drock 9000. Um, that's the beer that I was leaning to, but we're gonna talk more about that later. I do have some shout outs to give uh, William. So William sent me a message. Ha! Huh. Asked me to share his Facebook group. I actually, I can't find the message right now. Uh, it's somewhere in my inbox and I don't know where it is. But uh, Ryan, Ryan, nope. Ryan was the other guy. William, Mr. William. Uh, he asked me to share his uh, 
his Facebook group. Um, there's a lot of really good, uh, knowledgeable people on Facebook as far as vaping. Um, and there's a lot of groups. And I am a member of no less than at least 20 to 30, maybe even 40 Facebook groups that I barely, barely partake in. And I feel bad taking up memberships in all these groups and contributing almost nothing to them. But uh, I do try to contribute sometimes, especially if I get tagged in a post, then absolutely I'll chime in and stuff like that. Um, but it's called Bridge the Gap, and I'll post a link to it in the description. But uh, William started a YouTube channel as well as this Facebook group called Bridge the Gap. And uh, the description for this Facebook group reads, a place for all vapors, hosts, channels, and vendors from all over the world to come together as a community to bridge the gap. Bridge... <laughs> Bridge the gap. All, vapor, all vapors are welcome to post their stories, photos, as well as share opinions on e-liquids and devices. All vendors may post deals, special buy information, photos, and company information they wish to share. Vape-related only. Ah, phew. So if you're a, you know, a YouTuber and you want to post your videos there, absolutely. If you have a show, if you have a show on like VapeNet or something else and you want to post your schedule there of when you're going to be on, absolutely. You can talk to the people that could possibly be watching your shows or videos. Um, it says absolutely no drama will be accepted. There will be no warning. You're going to get the ban hammer from William here. Um, no warnings will be given. Be respectful to your fellow vapors. Uh, so there you go, William. That is Bridge the Gap on uh, on the Facebook. Additionally, there's another Facebook group that obviously I will not be joining because it's in a completely different language. Um, but a gentleman named Fabio. Yes, his name is Fabio. We're not going to make fun of him for that. Uh, he has a Portugal vaping. Um, vaping is worldwide these days. It's uh, It's everywhere. It's in the UK. It's in Scotland. Hey, guys, Todd here. It's in Australia, it's in the Philippines, and now uh, evidently it's also in Portugal. And uh, there is a Portugal Vapors Group. I'm not sure if anybody from Portugal watches my videos, but if you do and you're looking for a Facebook group to join, there is Portugal Vaping. I'll post a link, obviously, in the description to this video. Uh, I actually did a report on Portugal um, when I was in the sixth grade. Everybody got to go to the map and pick a country to do a report on and for some reason i don't know what it was maybe it was its location where it was the name i just said portugal and i did a whole i did a whole report on portugal don't ask me to remember anything that i wrote down about portugal but i did uh <laughs> i did do a report on portugal so thank you fabio for sending that my maybe it's fabio maybe i don't maybe it's my american uh accent or my american dialect and i want to say fabio because of fabio maybe it's fabio we'll give him the benefit of the doubt but that's the portugal vapors group uh next up i do want to give a shout out to a guy named john he contacted me uh via facebook and he's going to be selling you know what let me just try to find his uh his uh his email because uh he sent it out and he says, uh, hello, I am one of your followers on Facebook and YouTube. I've been vaping for about a year now and it has changed my life in more ways than one. I've met wonderful people who help out when they can and meet people like you that make you laugh and be well informed. The reason I'm messaging you is I want to give back to the vaping community. That is amazing. Uh, I'm a, I, so I'm a Teespringer and I've created a custom t-shirt that I'm going to be selling and dating, donating 10% of the profit after cost of t-shirts to CASA to help spread the news of e-cigs even farther. I'm going to start a campaign on Saturday and setting it for a two week run. I was wondering if you don't mind to mention in your videos, posts, blogs, whatever. If you don't want to, I completely understand. I will still be a loyal follower. Well, thank you, John, for uh, donating your time and energy and money into uh, into uh, something that's going to be good and give back to the community. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> haven't sneezed all day. As soon as I turn on the camera, I sneeze. 
I don't know what it is. It's like uh, it's maybe it's the lights. Maybe it's because you know that thing where they say you should look at the sun if you have to sneeze, or you should try to look at a bright light because the way that your body will get you to close your eyes is to sneeze. Anyway, John, uh, thank you so much. I'm going to post a link in the description to where you can pick up this T-shirt. It's basically a very simple, straightforward white T-shirt with a heart shape on it. It has a heartbeat monitor on it, and it says Esigs saved my life. Um, if that's not true for all of us, then I don't know what is. But John is making these t-shirts and he's going to donate 10% uh, of the profits um, to CASA, which I think is a, is a great thing. Jam? I thought I heard Jam lurking around. I uh, thought I heard Jam lurking around somewhere in there. So what I want to do now is uh, I'm going to read this letter and I'm going to take a... I'm going to... I'm going to I'm gonna vape a mod. So there was a mod that got released um, somewhere around Vape Bash. Jam Attack! Hi, Jam. Jam Attack! You can't shout the name of the segment before you oh, come in and screen. bother me. Jam, you, how do you not know by now where to go? Come close. Come as close as you can. I was just about to vape on this monster. What do you think about it? Oh, um, the, oh shit. Got in there. Tricked me. Jam likes to think of herself as Wilson from Home Improvement. She just drops knowledgeable advice on you, but you never actually see her. <laughs> That's true. You don't uh, have to speak loud. This thing is stupid. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. No disrespect to the maker. Um, but you really gotta find a lighter weight material. The official statement from Jam regarding the Dreadnought is... It's stupid. So... <laughs> It's this is uh, this came from uh, a guy named Dustin, okay? This is the Dreadnought, and this is a 26650 hybrid. And free weight. Free weight. It's all uh, juiced up. He pre-built some coils in here, and he built a... Uh, oh, you're not going to be able to see that because I'm an idiot. That's uh, He built a dual coil parallel. Um, I'm not sure the ohmage, as it is a hybrid, and that's uh, rather difficult to check on there. But he sent me a whole letter. Um, he offered to lend this to me on Facebook. And uh, I'm always reluctant to borrow people's devices. Um, I don't know if I'll do a review, a full, full, full review for this, just because my plate is so full. But Dustin was such a nice guy and was so adamant about me borrowing his mod that I felt very obligated to have it here on video, in the vlog, and, uh, and take a toot on the coils that he built with some DIY juice that he made. Um, let me read uh, just a little bit from this. Here, Jim, you can hold the dreadnought. Talk, uh, what do you think about it? Other than it's too big and stupid. Well, the spinny thing is confusing. Yeah, I don't know if that's supposed to spin like that. The center of it kind of spins. Here, let me have this back. The center of it, it so it comes apart, right? It kind of spins. The center, it comes apart like this, and then you have this tube where your 26650 battery goes, <sighs> right? And then you have this sort of casing. It's like a chastity belt for your mod. Stop. What's this? Um, and then, uh, damn it, I dropped my battery, Jam. You grimmed it? I grimmed it again. And then you put the base on. And the base has all these tongs on it, right? Or tangs on it. And that screws in. And then the center part is a little bit free-flowing on this. And, you know, Dustin, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't believe this is supposed to spin. Or maybe it is supposed to spin. Maybe that's part of the aesthetic of it. But the middle kind of spins a little bit. And I've cranked it down. I don't want to ruin the guy's mod, so... I haven't, uh, I haven't really forced it too hard, but it does spin and it does kind of move in your, in your hand like this. Um, but let me read a little bit from this. Oh, do you want to try to take a toot on this? <laughs> wow, Jam, throwing out obscenities. <laughs> Namber juice is wholesome. Okay, let me do this uh, one thing. Namberjuice.com, fifty percent. Anyway, off. he said. I mean, fifty dollars free shipping. 50% off? Don't give people the wrong idea. There's a couple Namber Juice announcements uh, coming up shortly. Um, he starts off by saying, Nick, I would like to start off by thanking you for everything you do for people. Um, he says, you are truly a role model for a lot of new vapors and you're always willing to help them and I applaud you for that. 
he, uh, he tells me the story of, uh, you know, he hopes to meet me at a convention, how he started vaping. Um, within this package, I am trusting you with my baby. But I do not, but, but I know that I can. Do not worry about dings and scratches, for that is just normal wear and tear. Just don't try to throw it off a bridge. So, it will survive. Our trip to the bridge to throw this mod off, we're going to have to uh, cancel that. I know. We were really looking forward to we, every every Monday we go to the bridge and we throw mods. I mean, that's just our tradition. That's what we do. And uh, that's not so we can't do that. Um, one thing I have to ask. I have pre-coiled it to about 0.14. Ooh. Uh, blow me a cloud on video. I have added some juice for this. I don't want to review. I'm not selling it. Merely an organic mix that I can ha that can handle the high temperature yet remain enjoyable. It is a peach nectarine strawberry at six milligrams, seventy percent uh, VG, thirty percent PG. Shouldn't kill your lungs. You seem to vape how I do. Anyways, you have enough to do without reading this novel. Once again, thank you for all your hard work. Hope you enjoy a prosperous life. Thank you, uh, Dustin, for the very kind words. Wasn't that nice of Dustin Jam? Yeah. Um. So here's what I did. I loaded up these coils with his organic uh, VG Heavy Juice. I'm going to put some more on here. Because there's a lot of cotton in here. And I don't know if I trust this to not be completely saturated. Doug, I thought this was a jam attack. Well, you jam attacked in the middle of a segment. Well, you, can you can stick around for a second and we'll talk about Namber Juice in a second. Tell me to put it on hold. Because you're ready now. You just, had, you just had the crazy eyes. Did I have the crazy eyes? You had crazy ex-girlfriend eyes. That These mean. things happen. Why are you ripping off Matt and Vanessa now? What I told you, you that about? story. How Vanessa said, you don't like it when I look at you? And then Matt goes, no, because you have crazy girl eyes. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that. But you do have crazy girl eyes. Matt and Vanessa are the YouTubers. Uh, that's Yeah, they're Suck My Mod. Oh, hi, Suck My Mod. They're going to be our friends. They keep telling me that we have to be friends with them. <laughs> uh, so I I'm trying to get Amber, Matt, if you're listening, I'm trying to get Amber to watch your videos, but she doesn't, her attention span isn't, it's quite, it's more like reality TV, like she watches Survivor, you the know, whole <laughs> the whole day. And so I can't get her to get onto YouTube and to, uh, and to subscribe to the Suck My Mod channel and to watch your mods, because I'm like, Jam, you need to be friends with these people because Matt and Vanessa are going to be our friends. <laughs> I keep telling her that. I've told her that a million times. I'm like, they're going to be our friends. We are going to be friends and hang out and be awesome. Dustin, this, this first toot, this is for you. I'm going to see how it goes. Um, also, it has a tiny little button on the bottom. And I put this tiny little drip tip on top because I think it looks funny. Doesn't that look amazing? Huge mod, tiny little uh, brass drip tip. He must tip. have really big muscles and really big hands. He is. He could just be a Goliath. He could just be like the Hulk. Because for my five three stature, that mod's not working out. <laughs> Here you go, Dustin. Here's a two. Let's uh, let's blow out first. Make sure it's not poison. How do you know he didn't send you poison? What? How do you know he didn't send you poison? Because he sent me his mod. How would he get his mod back if I'm dead? Maybe that's why he sent you that one. It's because it's so heavy. He doesn't care about it. Let me check your pulse. Check my pulse, Jim. That's a lot of VG. Uh, wow, that's a lot of VG. One thing that's really wicked cool is the airflow holes are in the front of this, like little eyeballs. So when you blow out, it goes out in like a big V shape. Uh... It's uh, That's a good little coil you've built on there, Dustin. That's a parallel coil, meaning that the wires are side by side and then wrapped and then attached. So you kind of, it's kind of like uh, uh, an exaggerated micro coil, I guess you could call it. Um, it's very nice. I mean, it feels uh, very good. I'm going to feel like I need to juice this again already because it's just, uh, it's just going crazy on me. Just going crazy. Can I so yeah, that's the dreadnought. Uh, not right now. After we, after I vape it, you can. But it's so cute and little. I'll let you. Well, I know it is I cute don't and want little. A fucking sloppy second. 
<laughs> we'll get there when we get there, honey. We'll get there when we get there. Thank you so much, Dustin, for letting me use the Dreadnought. Everybody, here's some Dreadnought porn. Ooh. It is pretty. Ah, look at that. It is. It's beautiful. It looks like a Transformer, which appeals to the nerd in me. It even looks like it has a face. Look at those eyes and nose right there. I knew you were going to have a like, face. Oh, 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 oh. And it's got a little tiny drip tip on top. He did send me the drip tip for this, but I feel weird using somebody else's drip tip. I just don't want to... That's gross. Like, put it in my mouth. Even if I, like, sanitized it, I just don't want to... That's a road I don't want to go down, Dustin. Well, we're not, like we're not that close. You don't close. know what's in that bottle. I know what's in this bottle. I know Dustin has my best interests in mind. <laughs> I get paranoid about Nick vaping these juices from people. I'm, I just think I'm going to come in here finding dead one day. The murder of Grim Green. Crazy. That is crazy. So... Once again, Dreadnought. It also, I noticed it doesn't have a locking switch on the bottom, but the button is protected by these protuberances that sit flat so it won't press the button. So the button sticks out a little bit, but it only sticks out as far as these stick out. So when you set it down, it doesn't fire because if it didn't have those, this thing is heavy enough so that if it sat flat, it would, it would, uh, it would fire in a second. Let me take one more toot here. Is your hand tired? <laughs> what you Oh my god, talk? it loves poison! Why'd you make me talk? <laughs> is your hand tired, honey? My hand is uh is tired from lifting that mod. How could that be your everyday mod? It can't that be. would pull my pants off if I put it in my pocket. That's I would go the <laughs> or it would like tear through my pants or just <laughs> It's a, it's a crazy, crazy mod, and it's cool. I mean, that's that's for someone who's a collector, you know what I mean, who wants a 26650 hybrid that looks like a freaking gold and silver transformer. Yeah. So yeah. thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Dustin, for that. Moving forward, um, I have two Namber announcements to make. So this is going to be the Namber part of it, uh, and I, you know you know me. I don't like to shove Namber down your throats. Namber juice is a thing that's there. I love it. Amber loves it. We love it. We make what we like to vape. That could be our freaking slogan. Other than, what's our other slogan? Namber is wholesome? That's what you say. Namber is wholesome. I say Namber is a dirty, rotten scoundrel. Dur Namber is a dirty, rotten scoundrel. So right now, on the site, starting today, which is Monday, you might have seen a post. Um, we're doing free shipping for orders over 50 bucks. Right? That's pretty good. So the first question I get asked right when I post that is, hey, when are you going to have 30 mil bottles? So I guess that's the next thing we're going to work on. People wanted free shipping, so we're doing free shipping over 50 bucks, and now we need to work on 30 mil bottles. Okay, great. If that's a thing that can ever happen. The second announcement for Namber Juice. Can I have a drum roll jam? Okay, now that's going to, that's, I meant like a mouth drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> Worst drum roll ever. <laughs> Holy crap. Let me try to get <laughs> That is the worst. That was the single worst drum roll I've ever heard in my life. Roll your tongue. Like. Yeah. Okay, well, have to calm down. <laughs> calm down. Give me a drum roll. Okay, we got dead air here, honey. Okay, no drum roll. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So you just roll your tongue. Yes. <laughs> really good. Really close. Uh, jams drum roll. That's gonna be another juice. Also, I decided that we have to name a juice Tiger Bunny now. Yeah. What does the Tiger Bunny say? Yeah, and that's gonna be the description to the juice. What does the Tiger Bunny say? <laughs> yeah, we remember how your tiger sounds. We still still haven't made it to the zoo to correct that. So I got a lot of stuff to talk about, so we can't lollygag here. Uh, Namber Juice, starting in June. I believe it's June. It's the end of May. The next box is going to be part of the Drip Club. Yes, Namber Juice is going to be part of the Drip Club. I could not be happier about it. Uh, I've talked extensively, obviously, extensively, extensively, the guys from the Drip Club, they have a great uh, program. And for those unfamiliar, the Drip Club is basically like a juice of the month 
uh, program. You pay X amount of money and you get X amount of juice in the mail every month, custom tailored to your flavors. You fill out a little thing on their website that says, I like this, I don't like this, I like this, I don't like this. So if you fill that out and your flavor profiles match something that could possibly be matched in Namber Juice, um, they are uh, including Namber Juice in the Drip Club sample boxes, which I, I mean, obviously I, I could not be more excited about it. I think, uh, like I said, I think the Drip Club's a wonderful company. What do you think about that, Jam? I'm gonna write a, a jingle for the Drip Club. You're gonna write a jingle for the Drip Club? Yeah. How's it go? It's gonna go something like, join the Drip Club, you can buy Namber Juice there, they'll send you Namber Juice every month. <laughs> it's, it's gonna need some work, obviously. It's, just, it's gonna need just, some work. We're just brainstorming. We're just we're just brainstorming we're just right now, the shooting the shite. <laughs> um, they're also offering a, a coupon code um, that's gonna save you, I believe, twenty percent off. Um, and the coupon code is Vaping Saves Lives. Good on you, Drip Club. That is fantastic. Vaping saves lives. Vaping does save lives. So yeah, if you go to the Drip Club and sign up, uh, I believe you can get 20% off, and I don't think it's the whole thing, I think it's 25, 20% off your first month vaping saves lives coupon code. I'll have a link in the description to the Drip Club, and obviously you can just copy and paste uh, the vaping saves lives uh, coupon code. I think this is the start of a beautiful relationship between Namber Juice and the Drip Club. I'm honored, uh, obviously honored to be a part of it. Uh, they have and uh, distribute wonderful juices from wonderful companies. And for Namber Juice to even be part of companies like, you know, uh, Bonsai, I mean, there's so many good juice vendors that are included for, for Namber Juice to be a part of that. Uh, I feel honored. I mean, I feel I'm very excited that we can, uh, we can be part of this. And I think it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be great. So hopefully if you're a Drip Club member, maybe uh, your flavor profiles will get you some Namber Juice at some point, um, but that's uh, that's what I got for that. Amber, do you have anything else you wanted to add before I uh, move on to bigger and better things? What are you trying to say? There's bigger and better things than Jam Attack. Yeah, I have a lot, 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 lot to talk about. You know what we really need to talk about? What? You're always in such a hurry that you don't take time out of your life to enjoy the little things like Jam Attack, and you don't <laughs> let it go on long enough. Jim, the, you, it's part. 27 minutes into the vlog. That means I have 27 minutes to cover like 100 things. You got too much on your plate, little dumpling. I know, and I'm trying to get through it all, but you're calling me, you're sitting here calling me dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I want to talk about this. We this can't, Jim, come on. I'm going to do that later. Well, listen, I have some things to point out about this. What? Uh, first of all, it says... This is what we call foreshadowing. Uh, I'm going to do a whole <laughs> segment later about a bunch of disposables that I got and see how they rank amongst each other. And Amber is holding up this one. This is the 10 Motives Disposable Electronic Cigarette. But what does it say? It just pisses me off, Duck. What does it say? It says 100% legal to smoke anywhere. Wrong. Try right. that in Chicago or New York. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> you should try that in Chicago and New York. Public civil disobedience, right, Russ? Right. What else? What else upsets you about that packaging? All of it. All of it. Really, that's the main thing. So it says, "100 percent safe to so 100 percent legal to smoke anywhere." Contains no tar, cancerous toxins, no passive smoking, no ash or odors. That is all true. Uh, it doesn't contain any tar. And technically, well, you can't go smoking that on. You an can't airplane. go smoking that on an airplane. You're absolutely right. Um, Nonsense. They shouldn't really be making claims like this. They need to do res responsible packaging, people. Responsible packaging, because that's how we're going to beat the FDA. It's funny how they say you're right. That is how we're going to beat the FDA. It's funny how it says no toxins, and then the first warning says very toxic. <laughs> If, con <laughs> if contacted with the skin, please keep locked up and out of reach of children. That is responsible. Well, fuck, I better um, go put that in my safe. Yeah, go put this in the wall safe, honey, <laughs> with our guns and uh, crossbows. You know what we need to talk about really fast before we don't I have leave. time. What? You need to breathe, baby. I'm going to bring you seven more beers. Crazy Let's eyes. pick up the pace. Okay, listen. Mama and Daddy are coming in town. Yes, they are. Ladies Amber's parents are visiting us. <laughs> Ladies, I know, but you're, you're not going to be able to do a vlog next 
sweet. I haven't got to that spot yet, honey. <laughs> but still something that's coming up. That's one of the 100 things I have to talk about still. Y'all, I want y'all to know that Mr. Grimbury is in a foul mood this evening. I'm not in a foul mood. He's giving me those crazy eyes. <laughs> those, you better fucking get out of here before I'm burning I'm not eyes. giving you crazy eyes. I'm trying to give you a sense of urgency. And I've explained, like, a bunch of times that how much stuff I have to talk about. And you're like, no, no, we got one last thing to talk about. <laughs> yeah, first of all, I'm southern. We walked up it's slow. We talked slow. We lived slow. Yeah, I know. You're too fast-paced and ready to go. You blocked New York City. That's how I am. That's how I roll. That's why I want to live in Manhattan if it wasn't crazy there. Well, I reckon I'm going to just get out of your way. You want me to bring you a case of beer so you can calm down? A case of beer? No, but I would like the bottle for this if you want to bring me that. Oh, that's cute. After the crazy eyes, you think I'm really going to bring you a bottle of beer? Okay, honey. Moving forward. <laughs> uh, Bye, y'all. Moving forward. Enjoy Nick. We are going to talk about this beer that I have. So I posted a picture on Instagram not too long ago. In fact, it was like uh, a couple days ago. And I said that I finally got to go beer shopping, and I picked up a whole slew of good stuff from Total Wine. And I ate, I ate, I ate it. The beer that I drank last night, I had a Samuel Smith Organic Chocolate Stout, which is ugh, unbelievable. Always good, always amazing. I also drank the uh, Trappist Rochefort. Ten, I believe that's how it's pronounced. It's the Rochefort or Rochefort 10. I have a thing for Belgian beers. But tonight, tonight, tonight is the night of Golden Drach 9000. This is a Belgian quad. And, a, and according to their site, it goes through a dual fermentation, uh, which means it's fermented like a beer. And then it goes through a secondary fermentation, uh, which they use wine yeast, which actually explains a lot because I get some like grape or pear flavor from it. It's got that traditional Belgian, uh, you know, sweet citrusy flavor to it. Come and get it, crab ass. Oh, you actually brought it? Yeah, because I'm a nicer person than you. <laughs> Mr. Robert Pants, put on your rude peenies today and I brought you a shot. I don't know if you're not going to do a shot. You need a shot, crab ass. <laughs> there she goes, everybody. A Green Johnson. A Green Johnson on Instagram. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, honey. Thank you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> She's just, uh, you just want to eat her up, really. So she brought me the bottle. And this is my uh, cork. It, uh, it is a chicken or a turkey. <laughs> it's one of the two. Um, holy Christ on a crutch. Did you see that? God, did she shake it up on the way here? That's that literally scared the hell out of me. I can't wait to see that on video in the in the future. I'm gonna have to edit that sound out of there because that was loud as hell. Um, one thing you should know about me, uh, even though I do enjoy some nice uh, craft beer, I'm really terrible at pouring beer. It always has a gigantic head, and I don't feel so bad about it anymore because the picture on the uh, on the Golden Drock site is like this much beer and then like this much head. And I'm like, hey, that's how mine look. But uh, yeah, so I actually do get some like grapey pear flavor in here. This is a really high alcohol beer and I've had a couple already, but I'm in, uh, I'm in no condition to drive. Um, but yeah, I get a little bit of like grape, pear, like fruit flavor in here, which is weird. And it's sweet, but it also has a little bit... Um, you can kind of taste the alcohol, which I'm not always fond of. In this case, uh, yes, I am fond of it. I will have a link in the description to the uh, Golden Drock site if you're interested in uh, experiencing more uh, Belgian beers. So here's to you. Here's I'm going to give a shout out to the craft uh, brewing, craft beer, and vaping Facebook group. Uh, I always like seeing your posts. They always come up in my news feed, and it makes me happy to see people enjoying vapor uh, with some craft beer. And in case you're wondering, yes, this is absolutely the proper glass to be drinking this beer out of. Mm. Holy crap, that's good. I'm going to buy a bunch of this for VaporCon West. Um, Speaking of VaporCon West, go check out the vendors page. I've added a bunch, a bunch of vendors on there, and uh, I'm excited about all of them. What I need right now is a vape. Um, we're going to talk about some music, um, some music, some vape-related music, and uh, some non-vape-related music. Um, 
I guess it's all vape related music. If a vapor sent me the music to listen to, then it would be vape related, right? Ah, yes, the sweetness of the mango in the Mango Jams liquid uh, pairs very well with the grape prune low notes that I'm getting out of this Golden Drock 9000. And I'm not actually making fun of anybody, and I'm not making fun of Ruby Roo, especially because this actually goes together very well. You ever do that? That's the best thing ever. Anyway, Goss, Goss, uh, Goss, 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 maker of the Duke, uh, sent me this band, Merging Moon, and uh, I understand they're Japanese, but it's not baby metal. It's like metal, metal, metal. I'm into this. I like it. It's kind of a... Uh, Oh, it's a little melodic -y there. It's like melodic -y metal, and then it's got some pretty vicious, uh, pretty vicious death metal style uh, vocals of it. Before Goss had sent this to me, I'd never heard of uh, Merging Moon before, but uh, I'll post a link in the description to where you can check this out on YouTube. In fact, I was thinking about making a playlist, a public playlist on YouTube of all the bands that I've covered or have ever talked about in my vlog because I think that would be uh I think that would be cool. I would actually like put that on and and play it because it's all really good stuff. Uh, Merging Moon. Yes, from Japan. Thank you, Goss, for sending this uh for sending this my my way. Next up, uh uh, a fella named Alejandro. Alejandro, uh, no relation to the song, I'm assuming. Uh, he said, how's it going, sir? First off, I would like to thank you for everything you do for the vaping community. I've noticed that you're a high on fire fan. I recently went to one of their shows here in the Bay Area, and I noticed that Matt Pike, he's the, uh, he's the main guitar player, screamy guy for high on fire, was vaping. He had it on top of his Saldano amp and would take a toot in between songs. Uh, whether or not he had any illicit substances in there, I cannot confirm or deny. But the fact that he was vaping is enough of an inspiration for me to uh, play some High on Fire. I will post a link, obviously, again, in the description to High on Fire. And if you're not hip to High on Fire, you should probably be hip to High on Fire. Um, this has an ad, of course, from Walmart before you can actually listen to the video. Um, but this is one of my favorite songs from them. It's called Devolution. Uh, and it's just pummeling. It's just crushing. I love it. I love High on Fire. Great. It's uh, it's great stuff. It's just filthy loud, uh, filthy loud, noisy metal nonsense. Uh, and it's great. And evidently, the main guy Matt Pike uh, is a vapor or was seen vaping at one point uh, in a show. Really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. And in that same vein, uh, Alejandro also mentioned uh, Black Cobra. But you've never heard Black Cobra again. You should probably have really heard Black Cobra. I have two of their albums, or one of their albums, but I don't have this one. He said this was his favorite song. It's called Storm Shadow. And it's kind of in that same... Uh, pardon me. Burp life. It's kind of in that same high on fire sort of loud, obnoxious, angry, fuzzy metal. But uh, but yeah, of course I'll have a link to both High on Fire and Black Cobra in the description to this video, as well as Goss for sending me uh, Merging Moon. So before we get into uh, some vape related stuff, I do want to talk about this pamphlet. So uh, my mom, on Mother's Day, um, we went out to dinner, and uh, I love my mom. She's just uh, she's just a wonderful person. She's always always so supportive of me, and uh, she she handed me this thing that I thought was going to be anti vaping propaganda, and she said, "Oh, here, uh, I thought you would want to see this. I picked it up at a Seven Eleven. They had them sitting out at a Seven Eleven, and I was like." Oh no, scientific facts about vaping, what's the story? 
smokeless tobacco as harm reduction for smokers. As soon as I saw harm reduction, I was like, huh, harm reduction. They're using a, a good word. This might turn out to actually be a good thing. And I flip over to the back, and sure enough, this is being published by the S A C S H. A C S H. This is being published by the American Council on Science and Health. This is a legit organization. They have a website you can go to, healthfactsandfears.com. But it basically outlines um, everything you need to know about electronic cigarettes, how they affect people, how they affect smokers. Um, they talk about what, you know, smoking is an estimated cause of over 400,000 deaths each year in the United States. Um, they talk about what is tobacco harm reduction or THR. The concept is the concept that it should be more important to prevent deaths from smoking than in, to adhere to some strictly moralistic stance that all tobacco use should be condemned. That sentence alone is worth the price of this brochure. Um, I think we should get these. I think we should get these in bulk. I want to have these at VaporCon. I want to give them to our local brick and mortar stores. I want to give them to our local uh, liquor stores. I think we should try to get these anywhere that where they can. It's not a long read. It's you know a couple pages. It's a couple paragraphs. The sad truth is that many smokers are unable or unwilling to give up tobacco altogether. Nicotine is a highly addictive substance. And even the best smoking cessation aids out there have a very low success rate. Um, they go on and on. They talk about what is harm reduction. They talk about snooze a little bit. They say, uh, you know, they have this whole much lower risk helping smokers quit. What happens when smokers switch to smokeless? Um, what is an electronic cigarette? What's next? For more information, acsh.org. I didn't even know this existed until my mom brought it to me. Um, and so good on the ACSH for getting this information out there. I mean, when you read something from the American Council on Science and Health, you know, you're going to take a little bit more notice than if it was printed by uh, Grim Green Industries. I mean, these are just facts. Um, People are going to pay far more attention to something with the name like American Science and Health in it rather than just uh, Grim Green from GrimGreen.com. I can spout off at the mouth all I want, talk about harm reduction, talk about how this affects smokers' lives, how this affects vapors' lives. But when you have a pamphlet like this, something physical to hold on to, then every time you see it, it reminds you that tobacco harm reduction is a good thing, then that that in itself is, uh, is a good thing. They list the board of trustees uh, on the back. Um, yeah, pe people who studied at the College of, at, you know, the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, uh, Life Sciences, University of California, Los Angeles, um, Committee to Reduce Hospital Infections, uh, Children's Hospital. It's fantastic. Um, I don't know that I've ever been in contact with the American Council on Science and Health, but uh, I would like to be now as soon as possible. So thank you, Mom, for sending that my way. Uh, next up, I have an email from a guy named Miles, and I promised him upon pain of death that I would get this uh, get this into the next vlog. If my Gmail wasn't slow, 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 we could be there much, much sooner. Ugh. Much, much sooner. Um, so let's go to the vlog folder. Miles, 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 Miles. Now Miles is a, he's a subscriber of mine from Australia, I believe. Yes. And uh, we always email back and forth. I mean, we've exchanged probably a couple dozen emails um, over the last couple months. And he says, hey, Nick, I know you're busy and you're worried about what's happening in the FDA uh, in America. Absolutely, we are. Thank you for your support. Uh, I know you are aware of the case you mentioned in your previous blog about Vince from Heavenly Vapes in Western Australia where he was prosecuted after appeal uh, from uh, Western Australia's health for selling PVs. Now it seems that Australia as a nation are about to follow Western Australia's path and ban the sale of anything to do with e-cigs, PVs, APVs, and the like, including 0% Nick juice. Nicotine has already been previously banned for sale in Australia. 
Uh, he sends me out a link. He says, can you please mention this in your next blog, Facebook comment, Instagram, anything at all that will help bring attention with your Australian viewers. If you are an Australian viewer, um, pay attention to this. Uh, there's not many Aussie vapors as it is, and it would seem that the government is about to pull the wool over everyone's eyes before they've had a chance to see the light. Please, can you ask people who follow you from Australia to contact their member of parliament and the director of advocacy at the Cancer Council of Australia, Paul Gordon. Contact Paul Gordon. He has his phone number publicly available. Uh, and tell tell him how they feel about their vaping experience and why this needs to be allowed in the country of Australia. Also, Vince is accepting donations uh, for the next level of appeals. So please mention that again, uh, as it uh, as it will set a precedence for the rest of uh, the rest of Australia. So unfortunately, it seems that Australia, as a country, as a country, are following the lead of Western Australia. And uh, they want to ban the sale of anything to do with e-cigs, PVs, APVs, including zero nicotine juice. That's, uh, wow. Um, so what I'm going to do in the description of this video, thank you, Miles, first of all, for sending that my way. What I'm going to do in the description to this video is if you're an Australian viewer, I'm going to put some links uh, as well as the funding campaign for Vince. And then I'm going to put Mr. Paul Grogan's email. Um, he is the director of advocacy at the Cancer Council. Cancer Council. Cancer Council. Say that many times fast. Of Australia. And you need to tell him about your vaping experience. I'll post the link uh, to his uh, to his email. So, wow. That is, I mean, that's intense. Thank you, uh, thank you, Miles. Thank you, thank you, Miles, for sending that my way. Um, last up, uh, what I have is uh, before we get to the disposables, I'm going to end this with a disposable shootout, as it were. I have a whole bunch of disposables here from a bunch of different companies, um, three companies actually. Uh, but we're going to vape them. We're going to open them up for the first time and try them all, and just. Uh, Compare them, you know what I mean? Because for a lot of people, a disposable is their first uh, experience with vaping and with electronic cigarettes. But before we get to this, I want to mention my good buddy, Avisi. So uh, I've known Avisi for a while, and he, he runs his own liquid company called Composed Chaos. And uh, he wrote up a great, uh, a great, article I guess it is on his take on how vaping businesses can help fight the proposed FDA deeming regulations. He has a note on the top that says if you are coming to this page by way of a shared link and are not a US based reseller or manufacturer of electronic cigarette products you can still help. Share this with the places you purchase your products from and urge them to take action so you can continue to shop with them. That is fantastic. Obviously Avisi and the Composed Chaos Liquids, um, much like a lot of vendors that I've spoken to, are ready to fight this. He has a, uh, it's kind of long, but it's a good read. Um, he has a lot of good talking points and a lot of good what we can do type of things, who you can email, um, and then he gives a little blurb about himself at the end. Uh, my name is Matthew, uh, and my business name is Composed Chaos. My business is primarily in the manufacture of e-liquids for electronic cigarettes. As you are well aware, the FDA recently published its proposal to deem these products as tobacco products within their regulatory jurisdiction. He goes on and on, and it's a, it's a long read. Um, but if you read it, leave a comment at the bottom to let Matt know that you read it. And to let Matt know, I mean, there's no doubt that he already knows this, but we are all on the same team. There's some people... Um, who don't believe what's happening is serious. There's still this, you know, head in the sand mentality, and we just need to keep enforcing the fact, keep reiterating the fact that, uh, that, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a big deal. This is literally, and I'm not exaggerating in any way. This is the biggest deal that has ever happened to vaping and tobacco harm reduction. Are these FDA proposals? Um, once again, if you're not a member of CASA, become a member of CASA. Follow their instructions for giving feedback. Remember that we're asking 
to have the feedback date extended uh, by quite a bit, by a, by a lot, by another, another 90 days, I believe is what they're saying. Also, there's still that petition floating around that says veto the FDA's regulations. Please, please don't share that. Don't sign it. There's a lot of bad information. I believe I've already talked about this, and I spoke to the guy that created it. His heart was absolutely in the right place, and it was just a matter of we can't sign that because it doesn't have all the correct information in it, and the verbiage is kind of a little off. Um, it's not very official. Once again, his heart was in the right place. Um, but we're trying to get people to not, not, not sign nor share that petition going around, which I won't even link to. And I'm ashamed to say, Matt, I don't believe I've ever uh, vaped your liquids. Cinecream crushed. That sounds good. Why have I not ever tried your liquids, Mr. Composed Chaos? Um, I saw you. At VaporCon one year. I guess you weren't a vendor then. No matter. Thank you, Matt, uh, or a VC, for sending that my way. Check it out. I'll have a link to it in the description. And now, uh, this isn't going to be first impressions or a review. It's kind of just going to be a weird m amalgamation of both of them. All right, so disposables. Disposable electronic cigarettes. These are pretty widely available all, all over the place. And um, you can get them at gas stations. You can get them here. You can get them there. Um, and the first one up that I want to talk about is from Evoke. Okay, so Evoke. Uh, I've spoken with a gentleman there whose name is... Look how sweaty I am. Uh, Dave... Dare... Dare... Paul... P Paul... Phil... Phil, I don't have time to, uh, Grace, no, who did I talk to about the Evoke stuff? I can't remember, I'm sorry I can't remember your name, I do remember that you are a Clutch fan though, um, which makes me happy, and again, Evoke, uh, I'm not sure where they stand on things, I didn't get to know the guy like, uh, inside and out, but he did send me um, so what we're going to try tonight is, uh, let's do this one. Let's do menthol mint and the traditional cigar. So this is a menthol flavor and a cigar flavor. And, of course, uh, everybody knows, I mean, everybody, including the FDA, knows that uh, adults only like uh, menthol and tobacco flavors. So I'm going to see just how much I like this menthol and tobacco flavor. Wow, this is exactly like an Enjoy King. This is basically an Enjoy King. Holy crap, now I don't have to recommend the Enjoy King to anyone because Enjoy is terrible, terrible, terrible FDA friggin' lovers. Uh, yeah, so this is the Evoke Disposable E-Cigarette. So let's see how much one of these costs. Uh, $7.99. So you can buy one of these for $7.99. Looks like a cigarette. Feels like a cigarette. Holy crap, that feels like a cigarette. Uh, if I was still watching Mad Men, this is what I would vape while watching Mad Men because that show just one of makes me smoke. It has a squishy, papery filter on the end. Um, it's pre-filled. It's pre-charged. Let's, uh, let's see how it vapes Let's uh, while I hold my beer and vape it. I feel so sophisticated and rebellious. Damn it, Evoke. It's not that good. The mint is uh, not great. And the performance is really less than impressive. Um, really, really less than impressive. If you were a smoker and this was your first vaping experience, I would probably be amazed with it because I'm not smoking a cigarette, but I'm still getting nicotine. This is a place to start, but once you you will move past this really really quickly um i don't see this really being satisfying for any extended amount of time other than in a like hey this is neat okay now what else you know what else can i get i 
it kind of feels like smoking. I mean, the amount of vapor that you get is smoking. It's like cigarette smoke vapor. And I apologize to those listening on SoundCloud right now. Um, I'm taking some toots off of what looks like exactly like a cigarette from a company called Evoke. It's even got the squishy, uh, squishy papery top cap. Unfortunately, the performance is just not there. Uh, they have a lot of warnings on here, which is good. They don't make any outrageous claims like this lasts for an entire package of cigarettes or uh, smoke and enjoy. Yeah, it doesn't say uh, it doesn't say anything weird. If you're a menthol lover, get ready because this flavor comes with the sound of wedding bells. In other words, you should try it. That's a weird description, Evoke. 200 puffs equal to one and a half packs. Why did you have to say that? doesn't uh it doesn't taste like a menthol cigarette evoke i'm sorry looks feels performs like a traditional menthol cigarette does not taste i was a menthol guy and i smoked cool blue box for years and years and years and years and years and this doesn't uh this doesn't quite add up to that let me take one last toot on this eh 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 it's okay let's try another one so this hasn't been released yet to market. Um, wow Vapor. WowVapor.com. It says launching June 2014. Um, this is basically a product, a sub-product of Vapor for Life. So Vapor for Life recently, hang please. Let's get this. Let's get this. Um, I love the Vapor Zeus. It's great. They released, recently released this giant thing. This is the new and improved Vapor Zeus uh, that comes with a 510 connection. Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. 510 connection smile miser 510 connection battery, fixed uh, 5 volts, and uh, it's either automatic or manual. I have this set to autom or uh, pff, I have it set to manual right now. If you really want to give someone a really good first vaping experience, these smile misers are just uh, just amazing, in my opinion. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Really good, really good. And uh, this, this smile -o miser is actually designed to go on this dial -a volt which is strictly automatic, but it is variable voltage. I have it set all the way up to 4.8 volts because that's what I believe that the Vapor Zeus uh, is regulated to. Um, I've noticed that the auto switch on this, it feels like a big cigar. For those wondering, it looks like a big green cigar. I've noticed that the auto switch on this is a little bit finicky. It's a little hard to get going, and I don't know if it's just this battery or not. You have to draw a little on the hard side, and it seems to cut out every once in a while. You have to really keep that pressure going. But these, these, these are available on the site, and uh, like I said, if you want to give someone a really good first vaping experience, I love the dial -a volts I love the smile misers I freaking love the Vapor Zeus. I love my old Vapor Zeus. I still use it. It still sits right there. It's full of matrimony juice right now, and it's always charged and ready to go for if I just have to run out of the house really fast, I know it's going give to me, give me a good vape. These new uh, batteries are much, much bigger, and they do have a 510 connection, so old Vapor Zeus stuff will not be... Uh, why, am I, why is my nose running? Compatible with uh, with new Vapor Zeus stuff. But we're going to open this WOW Vapor Vapor King. One disposable electronic cigarette. Uh, there's no information on here. It's 2.6% nicotine. Why did you say that? Equal to more than one pack of cigarettes. I don't believe that to be true. But it does come with some propaganda here. WOW Vapor. 
Tells you all about it. Since the birth of April for Life, CEO Steve Millen has dedicated his entire life to researching and developing and perfecting electronic cigarettes. He has. Uh, so it has a kind of a very similar feel. Feels like a cigarette. Has a squishy uh, filter. Absolutely, there's no reason to recommend the Enjoy King anymore. Um, squishy, rubbery, papery filter. This is their menthol. Let's see how it goes. It's much, uh, it's much more menthol-y. This is like a vaping time machine. This reminds me of when I first started vaping. It's got like that menthol slash like America blend tobacco mixed in. This is absolutely Chinese juice. There's no way that this isn't full with Chinese juice. Uh, yeah, made in China. Propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, nicotine and flavorings. It's got a barcode. I would like to see these in place of every uh, Enjoy King that's out there. Again, really good at simulating the smoking experience. Not really a good vape overall. I mean, compared with, no one's seen this, at least on my YouTube. Uh, this is the Hades with a uh, 0 0.3 ohm dual coil uh, on here with a 26650 battery. God. That is a satisfying vape experience. This, on the other hand, is much more like a cigarette smoking experience. If I was ever going to go to Las Vegas again, which I do plan on doing, I would probably grab some disposables, maybe some evokes, maybe a wow, um, just to have while I'm sitting at the blackjack table so I don't have to sit and drip and stuff like that. You know what I mean? There's a certain times when you feel like smoking a cigarette and, you know, drinking in Las Vegas is one of those times for me. That's that's where I feel it the most. And uh, this might be cool for something like that. Again, not really good at uh, amazing vape experience, but it is a good uh simulation of electronic uh, of smoking it's the electronic version of smoking put that aside last up on the list second to last this is from 10 motives oh god and they say on the package Legal to smoke anywhere. You shouldn't, you should not put that on your package. What are you thinking? Why would you put that on your package, 10 Motives? I'll post a link in the description to theirs. They have a uh, very labeled 10motives.com. Not, not squishy, very hard, uh, hard plastic, and a bit bigger than the other ones. So if we have the Evoke, which is obviously the smallest one, then the Wow would be next. And then the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, what is this company? Ten Motives would be the tallest. This is actually very reminiscent of maybe an old 510 or like an old Vapor King. Um, I have a feeling this one's going to get a little bit more performance out of it, but it's hard to say for now. No more performance. In fact, the draw is really, really airy. The draw on these, on these wows and, and the evoke, they feel like a cigarette. The draw on this is uh, incredibly, incredibly airy. In fact, I bet you could do a lung hit on this and carb your mouth and like it would feel like an RBA. Wow. Look at that amazing performance. Uh, I think this is the most fail, unfortunately. Ten motives out of all of them. I didn't think it would perform worse than the other two, but it somehow manages to. Can I vape all three of them at the same time? Of course I can! Still not as much vapor as, a, uh, as an RDA. 
Not super impressed, but all those were menthol. That was a lot of menthol. The Evoke one felt most like a cigarette. The Wow Vapor one probably tasted the best. And unfortunately, this uh, 10 Motives one, even though they make ridiculous claims, I was hoping it would be better, but it's not. It's actually the worst, uh, worst of the bunch. I don't know why I keep vaping it. So the last thing I want to do, this is running way too long. This is the last thing I got to do it. Um, I want to try one of these Evoke uh, electronic cigars. Oh, it's wrapped up. Where are my damn scissors at? It's wrapped up. Comes with a little plug in the top cap. Let's get this plastic off of here. Now this looks like a cigar. I mean, it comes with a cigar band. It feels like paper. It feels like a cigar in your hand. Don't let me down, Evoke. Don't let me down. Now, I'm going to smoke this, or vape this, rather, like I would a cigar. I'm not going to hit it like an RBA or like a cigarette. I'm going to mouth it like I would a cigar, because I believe that's how this is designed to be, uh, to be vaped. Uh, the flavor is pretty freaking good. Uh, what is this? Traditional Cuban cigar. It tastes... My brother and I used to smoke a lot of cigars. And by a lot of cigars, I mean a fuck ton of cigars. We used to do this thing where we would sit out on our porch and film ourselves talking about wrestling. So take that, TVA show. I'm old school. We used to talk about wrestling a lot. Every After every episode of SmackDown, we'd go out and give our own like recap of SmackDown. It was so silly. But it was also so, so, so much fun. And we used to smoke a lot of cigars, and this kind of tastes like a cigar. It doesn't feel like a cigar. It doesn't have that cigar warmth to it. But if you were a cigar smoker and you wanted a cigar but didn't want to actually smoke a cigar, this could be a, a very viable option. I'm going to try to inhale it. Performance isn't great unless you mouth it like a cigar. The draw feels like a cigar. The vapor kind of smells like a cigar and it tastes like a cigar. Evoke, I am impressed. I'm not impressed with the performance, but the way that this kind of reminds me of cigar smoking, uh, I would actually like to keep this by my desk and just, you know, do one of these. One of these, uh, you know, the comedian from Watchmen. I realize that the obvious comic book reference there is Wolverine. Logan always had a cigar, but my mind just went to Watchmen, and uh, that's what I thought of, was the comedian from Watchmen, because he always had a cigar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there you go. There's a bunch of disposables. A bunch of disposables, uh, including uh, the non-disposable of the new Vapor for Life Vapor Zeus. Unfortunately, I don't have time to get to any viewer mail this week because everything always runs long. <gasps> Pardon me. So uh, I will be replying to your emails via the old... Uh, you know, uh, email away. So that's what I got for today. Thank you so much for watching. And here's what Amber alluded to. Next week, I won't have any videos. Amber's parents are coming into town on Saturday. They're going to be with us all weekend until the following Saturday. So hopefully the week after that, as we get into the first week of June, I'll have videos. I will not have videos the last week of May. Um, so that's all. That's what I got. Uh, when I do come back, I do believe... What's up? The Gus? I believe the Gus. The Gus mech mod might be coming up. Might be the Dark Star. Shotgun. Uh, tugboat. No. Vapor Giant. No. Might be the Gus. Might be the JM mod. Might be the Gus. Not really sure. I'm not really sure where we stand, but I'm going to wrap this up before I ramble too long. Uh, I'm going to sit here, answer some emails, enjoy some more delicious Golden Drock and vape on my, uh, you know what? 
We're gonna vape on the Evoke tonight. Mm-hmm. 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 It just tastes good. It tastes good with my beer. I can't explain it. I'm not saying it's rational. It just tastes good with my beer. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And as always, let's keep on vaping.